Hey everyone, welcome back to Ontario Gardening. Today we're going to quickly talk about growing strawberries here in Ontario. So the two kinds that we predominantly see here when we're growing in zone 5B are the June bearing and the ever bearing strawberries. So the name of them pretty much gives away when they're going to fruit. The June bearing, which we have here, their harvest typically comes in June in an abundance with big fruits and then they're pretty much done for the season. That's it. So you've got a big crop and they're going to be big hearty fruits and then it's going to be done. The other type we have are the ever bearing. So these ones are going to be a little bit smaller of a fruit so you can see in comparison to size here. So the Everbearings are going to produce all season. So from May, typically all the way until October, if you're lucky, you can get them to produce. So if you're wondering what kind of strawberry is gonna be best for you and your growing needs, you're gonna to wanna to decide how much fruit that you need, what type of plants and what type of container you're going to be growing them in, and how long you want your berries to keep coming. The other two main differences between the two plants are how you are going to grow them. So the June bearing strawberries do best in the ground and the reason they do best in the ground is because they like to spread. They have suckers on them that typically need pruning off um, just to direct that energy back into your fruit instead of wasting it on the plant. So they really do well either in the ground or in raised garden beds or in long, long planters. Whereas the ever bearing, we actually have them here in hanging baskets and we've got them like lined up on our fence because they do better or they can do better in container gardening. And that's perfect if you have a small space or if you're looking to vertical garden or if you don't want to have suckers and plants all in your garden bed and all over the ground. Either way, when you are doing berries and not just strawberries that can be berries of any sorts um, a lot of the times the birds the squirrels chipmunks raccoons they love berries so I use just cheap netting that I get from the dollar store it's the green netting it's a dollar for a big package I just keep mine in mason jars and that I find is good for det deterring the birds and the pest just make sure that you are really um, wrapping the berries and you're really making sure that there are no open spaces in the netting as birds and other animals sometimes can get trapped inside and we obviously don't want that so make sure it's really secure to your container and if you don't like the idea of using that you can use chicken wire or other type of um, contraptions to keep away the animals from the berries but you do want if you're using netting and stuff make sure that your flowers because you want these pollinated. So you want the bees and you want other pollinators to be able to get to them. So make sure that when you're using something to cover, you don't want to just straight cover it with plastic or tarps or sh sheets or anything like that because you do want to be able to open air and pollination for you. So just to do a quick recap, you have your two types of plants. You've got your June bearing, which are going to do your big plentiful fruits once in the season or you have your ever bearing which you can do in containers and have all the way through the season so that's just a recap of strawberries if you want to know more or a more extensive video comment below and we can get into that because you can keep these over the winter it takes a lot of mulching and a lot of care to make sure that the roots aren't getting frostbit but that is something that you can do. Those typically you want to do with the June bearing, the ever bearing. They don't, they're not as great for keeping over winter. But for now, that's an, a pretty quick growing tutorial and types of strawberries that you can get here and what you can grow here. Thanks for mu so much for tuning in and we will talk to you later. Bye.